Hey folks, John from Bodatrack here and I want to welcome you back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. So today's video doesn't have a whole lot to do with tractors, but it does have a lot to do with YouTube and the content that we create. So in this niche, tractors, uh, a lot of us content creators, we talk to each other, we support each other, both online through comments and likes and that sort of thing. Uh, but also offline through email and you can go to anyone's uh, YouTube channel and if you dig down dig deep down far enough you can find their email address so we talk and some of the guys that I speak with uh, that I consider friends are Biff's Equipment, uh, Gary's Tractor Talk, uh, Purple Collar Life, Roger from Tractor Tech, uh, the, the list just goes on and on. And one of those guys reached out to me and wanted to know what I was using uh, for the cameras that I record my content with. And I told him I was using the GoPro 8, I used the GoPro Hero 8. And uh, if you use this camera, whether you use it for YouTube or for hunting or for family stuff, you know that the Achilles heel of this camera is the battery. So um, on the handheld uh, one, uh, I use a Ulanzi handle that doubles as a battery. It plugs right in and I can get about three hours of uh, filming time with this. Uh, but on the tripod, if you look at the tripod, you can see right here, I use a power bank battery. It's a real economical way to hook up a battery uh, to run the GoPro. And you can see it's, it's running this one here. And, and uh, what you do is you just kind of plug it in directly by going uh, using a cable here. This one connects to this adapter here and this plate right here, which is called an Arco Swiss adapter. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to attach this so that you can run it on a tripod with a cage if you don't want to use the handle. So let's get over to the bench and get this started. Hey folks, so over here on the bench, I have the, the battery pack that's here. I, I just picked it up on Amazon. I don't know how big it is, but it was a pretty good size, you know, has a lot of capacity and um, it is large enough to fit an Arca Swiss plate. Now, in order to put this plate on, I need to remove this screw and pull these rubber pieces out and they come out with a little bit of help and some tools just to give myself some more surface area so that when I put the uh, epoxy down on here, uh, I can put this on and uh, it'll adhere pretty much forever. So let's get through that process and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so with the, the screw out, um, the first thing that I usually do is I set this on here in just about a square position. I take a blue Sharpie and I just make um, some lines and they don't have to attach to each other um, they're just to let me know where center is on this and I don't know if I said it in the previous clip but the reason you want to put these batteries on the GoPro cameras is because the GoPro batteries are small and they don't have a lot of charge and if you're doing uh, something that takes time and you're doing edits you know you're, you're making a clip and you screw up and you got to go back and do it again um, the batteries go fast and then you know somewhere down the line it, it gets frustrating because you got to change a battery but when you put one of these power banks on you can get hours of use out of your uh, GoPro without having to change the battery uh, as long as your card will hold the storage so now that this marking is done uh, the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use duct tape uh, to mask off uh, the areas outside of where that plate will go so I'll do that and we'll be right back okay so now uh, with the screw out and these little rubber non-skids pulled out of here I, I just took my finger or my thumb and pushed real hard in, in all of these cutouts uh, to kind of rub out the uh, rubber cement at least that's what I think it is it's what it acts like anyways um, I'm gonna go ahead and use some JB weld that I picked up at the local big box store I'm gonna mix it up this has a setting time of six minutes make sure that you get the type of epoxy that is meant to be used on metal and plastic some of them aren't meant to be used on both of these surfaces you use this stuff and it will never come off you'll you'll tear up the back of the plate trying to get this off before you'll actually take it off so I'm gonna mix this up and then uh, I'll come back uh, when I do the application and then set it in 
and then uh, we'll wait probably about five minutes and then we'll pull the tape off. One quick note about the tape. This is Gorilla Tape. I don't use um, any of the other duct tapes when I do this because sometimes if you have a cheaper gray duct tape, um, it will just break off in pieces and stay stuck and it just doesn't make a, a nice clean job. So, uh, and I do like to have a nice clean job uh, when it's on the camera rig. So uh, let me get this stuff mixed up and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so when you take it out of the tube, you have a black part and a white part. You mix it up, obviously it makes a gray part, and you use the whole tube on this. It's only a few dollars, and honestly, you can't put the cap on the tube and use it unless you use it within a couple of days. If somehow it just ends up getting hard and not working right. So I'm going to take this out and apply this everywhere, and I'm not going to be pretty or neat about it because I don't have to be. I don't know what that big blob is there. Let me get rid of that. So we're going to get this in and spread it out. Oop, crap. And leave it kind of thick in the middle because of the slots that are in that plate. When you push this down, you'll get all the air holes out. It'll kind of squeeze up in there. Um, and then we just set this on inside of the parameters of the duct tape, being careful not to get it uh, over the top of this, I don't know, it looks like it's about a quarter inch plate surface. So let's set this down and then gently push it. And then I'm going to wait about two minutes. Make sure I'm centered. Uh, this will stiffen up a little bit, but then it'll also be easy for me to scrape off some of this extra uh, without it just gooing up and getting all over the place. So I'm going to wait about two minutes and then uh, scrape that up. So I'll be back after I do that. Okay, folks, so as you can see, I kind of cleared it off the edges. First, I used a plastic uh, putty knife, just a disposable because it was plastic. It's easy to wipe off. And then I used a gasket remover to get into this slot here and get the excess off. So it's been about seven minutes, and it's, it's starting to set up all right. Uh, but I'm going to give it probably another five minutes, and then we're going to gently pull the tape off, and that should leave us a pretty, pretty well-masked area. So I'll be back then. Okay, folks, so five minutes has gone by exactly. I sat here drinking a water and waiting for it to go by. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the corner of this tape here and just pull it off. And you can see that it, it leaves that edge there. Um, what's important is that you don't touch the plate while you're doing this because it can still move a little bit. And when you pull it off, you pull it straight off. That side got a little, got a little feathered, but I can fix that. Um, so that you get a clean edge when you take this apart. Get rid of that. Hold the battery. And then just pull that. And now you've got a pretty clean edge. What I'll do is uh, I'll let this sit for 24 hours and get pretty hard and then um, in between that time I can probably get these little pieces off right here. Okay folks so now about five minutes has gone by and uh, you can see how the edge is on here. I'm just going to take a little alcohol on a rag and gently wipe around the outside to get any of that residue off and it'll leave a pretty clean edge so let me get that done and I'll show you the final product. All right, folks, so here's the finished product. You can see how neat and clean, professional it looks on there. Once this epoxy cures in about 24 hours, you won't be able to get that plate off and it'll dovetail and fit right into the mount and uh, you'll be able to use your GoPro for hours before you have to change the battery. So if you found this video useful, I'd be honored if you'd like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you'd be notified every time I put out a new video. So that's all I got for now. I want to thank you for watching. Good luck and Godspeed, Boda Track out. And I hope you're having a real blessed day.
that was stupid. Uh, for using in video making. To you, I'd be honored if you'd hit the like, subscribe,